13 people are safe tonight thanks to the quick thinking of, of an off-duty Springfield firefighter. He sprung into action this morning after his daughter spotted a house on fire. But Christian Lewis says he didn't even think twice about helping out. We were on our way to the Kingdom Hall, like our normal Saturday morning routine. But the sharp eyes of Christian Lewis's nine-year-old daughter quickly spotted something not normal about their drive through Indian Orchard. And my daughter goes, Dad, the house is on fire. Flames were moving through this three-story home on Holly Street. Lewis reacted quickly and rushed inside the house, even without any protective gear. You definitely don't feel as uh, invincible. You don't feel as safe, you know. You feel the heat uh, fully, and, you know, you don't have any air protection. You know, you don't have the mask with, you know, clean air that you can uh, breathe in, so... That makes it all very different. He says he ran to the third floor and banged on the door, then down to the second, helping families out of the smoke along the way. I hear this loud bang on my door telling me to get out. Everybody get out. Um, so that's what I did. I got me and my children out. When I came outside, I noticed that the third floor was engulfed in flames. That home engulfed in flames was the second Michelle Mason has seen in two months. My house just burned down in February, on February 4th this year. Though her and her children were some of the 13 people who got out safely, Mason says she's still trying to get over the memories of the first fire. And now she has to deal with the second. It, it's scary. You don't really want to sleep. Um, you're always looking over your shoulder. You're always watching other people's kids and everything. You're just worried. You don't know when it's going to hit you. Lewis says though he was glad to help, protective measures should have been in place so somebody noticed the fire long before he got there. You know, we just had our daylight savings time. It's a reminder to change the batteries in your smoke detectors because um, everyone says they didn't know the house was on fire. But with that much smoke and flame, you know, they should have been alerted by smoke detectors. So the cause of the fire remains under investigation, and the Red Cross is helping out the families this evening. Springfield Fire Department spokesman Dennis Ledger says the home suffered $150,000 in damage.